Hey everyone, um, welcome to week three of art learning online. I noticed that this last week was kind of dreary or kind of rainy, gloomy, um, and it kind of has me feeling sad about being in quarantine because I can't even go outside. I can only stay in my house and um, it kind of has me feeling a little sad, a little down. So something I remembered was when you're feeling sad or down, um, one thing that can really help with that is thinking about things that you are grateful for. Things that um, you're glad that you have right now. Not things that maybe you had in the past or things you could have in the future, but things you have right now in your house that can bring you joy, that you're happy that you have. Um, so go ahead and follow along with this video, try to post your image online, and again, really missing you guys, really want to hear from you, I've loved seeing your faces on Zoom this last week, that was the highlight of my week, that is one thing I'm grateful for, and um, yeah, don't ever feel that you can't reach out to me. I'm always here for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so this week we're gonna draw five things that we are grateful for. I'm using some paper and a Sharpie. You can start off with a pencil if you wanna be able to erase. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Sharpie because I have lots of experience and I'm not worried about making a beautiful oops if I need to. So the first thing I'm going to create, the first thing I'm grateful for during this quarantine is my home. So I'm going to draw my home somewhere on my paper. I'm not going to draw itty bitty because that won't take up enough room on my paper. I'm going to draw it medium size. I don't want to make it too big. If I make it too big, then I won't have room for my other five things. So I got to make it about medium size. I add some texture to my roof. I love adding some texture. I'm gonna add a couple windows. Ooh, I know what I wanna do. Oh, I have beautiful oops there. I'm just gonna go over it. I'm gonna make a heart window. I don't really have a heart window on my house, but I'm gonna draw one anyway. All right, so there's my house. I am also grateful for my husband. So I'm going to draw a couple of wedding rings on my paper. All right, that's two things. I am grateful for my pets. So I'm going to draw a little kitty head here. Looks a little bit like Pete the Cat. Okay, so that's three things. I need two more things. Okay, another thing I'm grateful for is my food. I'm very grateful that I have things to eat. And I love chicken. So I'm going to draw me some chicken. Right here. I love fruit. So I'm going to add an orange. Oh, it's a really big orange. Look how big that orange is. It's gigantic. And let's see. I also like apples. So I'm going to draw an apple right here. Okay. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four things I'm grateful for. So I need one more. Now let's see, I wanna fill up most of my paper. So should I put it here? No. Should I put it here? No. What about here? Yeah, there's a big space there. And the last thing that I'm grateful for is I'm grateful for being able to see you guys on Zoom. So I'm gonna add a little computer right here. All right, I 
got my five things and I filled up a lot of my paper. So now I'm ready to color. I'm going to be using color pencils, but you can use whatever you have. If you have markers, if you have crayons, you use what you got. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to fill this in and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, here is my finished artwork. You can see that I filled up my paper. There's some white space, but I don't have a whole lot of white space. I have my five things that I'm grateful for and I've colored in each one all the way. So pro tip here, when coloring, you want to color in the same direction. If you color all scribbly, it won't look as good. So hide all the white that you can when you're coloring and think of it like a stair step. So if we look at this chicken, you can kind of see where I stopped and started. So I was coloring in the same direction on the first step and then I went down a step, colored in that whole section, then went down a step and I just kept going. This looks a lot better than if I just scribble colored in. So you want to take your time, make sure your coloring's nice and neat, and don't forget to upload your picture to my website so I can give you some partic participation, there we go, that's, that's the word, uh, credit for art this semester. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys make.